Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to share your AOL calendar with other AOL users and then also non-AOL users. So there's several ways you could go about this, so try and make this as uh, simple as possible because there's a lot of options here. Um, okay, so we have this Jim user here, and then we have this Todd user here. So Jim is going to share his calendar, which is blue, with Todd, who has the green calendar here. So to do so, you want to go to your calendar, click the little drop-down arrow here. So if, if you pick export, that's going to make a calendar file that you could then send to that person that they could import. But the catch with that is that it'll only export the current calendar. So if you add something or remove something, they're not going to have that because their exported file is only going to have the current stuff that was on your calendar when you exported it, if that makes sense. So that's something you could do for you know, AOL users or for non-AOL users, you know, they could import this calendar file. So that's one option if that's all you're looking to do. But if you're looking to have a calendar export or shared calendar that will actually update on their end, you want to go to Edit Calendar. And then here you can you know, change your name and your color and that kind of thing. So if you choose this public option, and then you could send them this link and you could just have, you know, you could check which uh, permissions you want them to have. Uh, they could use that, but they'd have to, you know, bookmark this link or keep the email so they could just use that same link to go into your calendar. And then, you know, it also makes it public. So if somebody else gets this link, then they could view your calendar as well. So that's one option. And this way, um, when you make changes and they refresh their link, you know, on their web page, then it will update the changes as well. So this is an option if you want to share your calendar with AOL users or non-AOL users and you want your changes uh, to be updated on their end. So that's one option. Then you have this link here. Uh, it's a shareable link. And here's another way to do the ICS file, the calendar file, which is the same way as the export. So that will just export a file and it will just be the current events. And then here's the shareable link, which is another way you could do to have them get your calendar and uh, have it be updated when you make changes. So this is one way you'd have to do it for a non-AOL user, and this is for non-AOL user, you know, two different options. You know, one way is not going to update, one way will update. So what you want to do for just uh, an AOL to AOL user, the easiest way is just to share by email. So we're going to turn this on, put in Todd's email address here, AOL account here, give the uh, right permissions here. Let's say, you know, view and change events, let's give him full permission. Click on save. Then if we go to Todd's email, Then we have a button here that says Add Calendar. Click on that. You can give it a name here. Give it a color. Let's say we'll give it red. Uh, set any reminder options. Choose which calendar you want it to have it in if you have more than one. Click on Save. Okay, now we have Jim's calendar here. So now you can see Jim's stuff shows up in the red and Todd still shows up in the blue. And you could uncheck it if you don't want to see Jim's calendar, but it'd still be there if you do need to see it. Okay, so now let's go back to Jim's calendar, make a new event on the 24th. You can see there's nothing there. Let's, put eight, let's just call this new event. Okay, so now we have the new event on Jim's calendar, which is the shared calendar. Let's go back to Todd. I'm just going to have to refresh the screen here. And there's our new event. So it updated it, you know, real time. You just have to, you know, refresh the calendar once in a while. If it, it'll probably show up in time. I just wanted to kind of force it to show up by refreshing it. So there's your options there. So now let's go do a back to the calendar here and let's export it. Okay, so let's open the folder here, see where we put it. So put it in the downloads. So now we're going to go to a non-AOL account here. 
and let's uh, add a calendar, upload from file, go to downloads, import. Okay, so now we can see we have uh, Jim's exported calendar in this non-AOL account. But like I said, if let's say we go back to Jim, we add something on the 25th here and refresh this calendar, it's not going to show up because this was just a one-time import. So you, so you can see there's several ways to do this. So let's kind of refresh here real quick. So this is the calendar we want to share. You could export the ICS file and then import it into AOL or another you know, non-AOL calendar, and it'll be just be a one-time import just with the uh, events you just happen to have at that time of the uh, uh, export there. And then you have the edit options here, where you could do a shared calendar and anybody with that link could see it, and they could also you know, give it to other people and share it, and they'll be able to see your changes as you make them on your end. And then there's the share by email option where you share it with another AOL user. You could give them their permissions as well. It'll send them an email and they could add it to their calendar, which is, I think, the best way because you have all their stuff on their calendar. Because with this, you have a separate uh, web page open with just their calendar. Then you have to go back to your calendar. And then this option here is the same. where you would have to have a separate uh, web page open with their calendar. And it's not mixed in you know, together with your calendar. It's two separate calendars. And then here's another way to do the ICS file like we did in the uh, export option. So hopefully that makes sense. So just play around with it. You know, you could always unshare it and share it and delete it and that kind of thing just until you, you know, figure out the way you want to do it. And then you'll be uh, sharing your calendar. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.